ready to rock? It's cold. One stop to New York City. I'm hungry already. <laughs> you are so nice. You're sitting in the middle so I don't have to sit. So far it's empty. By a stranger. <laughs> and how many of these have you bought? How many do we forget to bring all Every of the time? Every time. Every time. Salty. Mm -hmm. Chewy. Mm -hmm. Sweet and salty. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. Once you have located your seat, we ask you that you please step out of the aisle. Well, we found ourselves in like the cutest neighborhood. This is so cute. We're in New York, we're in uh, Bronxville. And Ellie and I are just out here walking, just appreciating the city here. It's gorgeous. Oh, they have like all these cute shops. Our sister's getting... She's at the dentist right now. <laughs> and so we're like, yeah, we'll walk around and look at all the cute shops. Yeah. This is so cute. One thing that I love, how different it is. Just the city planning is so different that you can just walk around. You have to drive everywhere in St. George. You have to drive everywhere, yeah, basically, everywhere else. There's like little but... strips like this, and this is yeah. fun. This is a lot of fun. Got some breakfast. So you're probably wondering, why are you in New York? We have had a summer of travel, and I have been so excited to also get back into school enjoy fall coming and enjoying being pregnant uh, at home. But we are indeed, Jared and I are in New York. We are able to stay with his sister and that's really fun to see family. But we are here to tackle my migraines. Several weeks ago, probably actually a few months ago, when I had a little episode of a migraine, I was laying in bed. Did you say little? It was like a massive migraine. <laughs> I was laying in bed and I just felt so hopeless and I texted Jared I'm like my life feels hopeless right now because I can't I couldn't get up and function and it's very normal to have migraines when you're pregnant but I have migraines even when I'm not pregnant and it just felt so heavy to me and I've tried a lot of things I've been very consistent with chiropractors massage therapy certain vitamins certain drugs over the years and I just knew that I could find something else to help. So I did make two appointments pretty close together that in the long run I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did lidocaine injections two weeks ago. And right now I have a headache, but it's not like it would be. Like my neck does not hurt, my neck is not tight, and that's where it always starts out. But I do feel a headache right now. And then I was on TikTok, and when I tell people I'm going to New York for a doctor's appointment and then they say, well, how did you find him? And I say, TikTok, they always do this. <laughs> Which I get it, but I, I'm, I'm desperate. Um, I found this doctor and he talks all about migraines and that if you've already tried like chiropractor, you've already tried neurologists, MRIs, that kind of thing, like he might be the next step for you. And what I was intrigued is he talks a lot about adhesions in your neck. I've never had any of my neurologists or doctors talk about adhesions. And so I'm willing to try it. So we're coming to New York, we're driving to New Jersey, and they're going to, it's not like a chiropractor, but they do manipulate your neck where they like push really deep and slow movements. Um, and then they have a machine that they go up and down your neck that supposedly breaks up adhesions in your neck. So let's go, we'll see if it works out. I have a few appointments while we are down here. Well, we're in New Jersey. Everything is legal in New Jersey. And we're ready to go to the first appointment so out of movie? like Hamilton. You don't understand the Hamilton reference? I'm sorry. That's all right. We're going to our first of many appointments over the next two days. So. Tell me what you're thinking. Are you nervous, excited? Um, this is a rehabilitation clinic, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm excited. I think it's really cool that we're here. A lot of it's you probably wild. think, what are you doing across the country going to a doctor? Well, we're doing exactly what we can. You know, if this works, then great. So this way, just look forward for me. This bag neutral is minus eight. From here, we're gonna tuck your chin in, head stays on the block. Good, stay right there. What do you feel? So it's tight. Nice and slow to the left, please go. 
Oh, totally. <laughs> what the hell are you talking it's wild. about? Yeah. What? Right. When you turn, when you, you look you up. When you turn, you do this. Yeah. You create the motion, right? So your neck down oh, here no. doesn't look. It's not moving. <laughs> it's well, it's moving it up. It doesn't like I it. I move yeah. to you do, avoid you, it. Yes. You, and that's also the same area in your neck that when you did this, you're like, uh-uh, we definitely really? did that like that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what do you feel there? It's tight. One finger on the right, full on the left. Are you the kids here? No. Woohoo, no, vacation. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a baby one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get some treatment and baby one. Pretty to much. The... <laughs> Just push hard. Yeah. Okay. There we go. You're like, don't stop this. Okay. <laughs> As I'm pushing here, and you can see this is kind of soft into here, right? Yep. This is how this is healthy tissue. This yep. is how we want it to feel. As we come up, yeah, so right there. about here, up, especially this left side here, that's not moving to us. See, this guy can still kind of sink in. Yeah. That's not moving. We come up again, left side can't really move here. This can sink in. Sink in, not really. And then we get into the upper part of your neck here. It's just like pow, we don't yeah. like this. I believe you have a form of We'll say mild to moderate because there's no imaging. Disc degeneration, I'll explain everything to you. This, your mm -hmm. chin tuck test, which is assessing how well these muscles at the base of your skull stretch. Your report grade, you got a 64, so we'll call that a D. Mm. Okay? Just like school. <laughs> Shit. Shit, okay. So, so we don't like to move yeah. up here, yeah. okay? So then the weight's going to be translated down, right? So then the middle part of your neck, you really did not like that. So we stack it and we come forward. That you really did not like, that was a 66. That was a D also, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like F going down to an F. And then it's like, okay, I have to look down. So we're gonna end down. I don't like this. We're just gonna drop everything mm -hmm. here. And that was your best test, which makes sense, which is a B plus, which is an 88. So your upper and middle part of your neck isn't really working and it's all you're bending all from here which is why this area is getting beat up so frequently but i would be willing to bet that if you went and you got an MRI of your neck that there's some form of mm -hmm. like disc bulge or disc herniation or something like that going on which would explain why this mm -hmm. is so hard for yeah. you to do you see this is better already and this is our first pass and when we just felt this the other muscle was worse and it was blocking this. Mm -hmm. and, and super easy. What do you feel? So good. I don't feel any of the pulling. <laughs> Say just like that. Uh, 22, Greg. And then if we come forward. Right there. Is okay. Tight. Still stops there. Okay, good. But this was better. Yeah. Awesome. Next. This one I'm gonna ask you to put your hair up. Perfect. This is very annoying. No, you are just not. fine. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I'm the clip guy. <laughs> Video clips, hair clips, any clips. Three, two, one, here we go. out the doctors are not in the room be honest how do you feel how does my neck look is it red it's oh yeah oh my gosh it's red I just know I've told a few people that I'm coming and they've put their nose up specifically the doctor that did the injections <laughs> I don't know what your sister thinks but I was in there and this was worth coming oh and it's only one treatment we still have another treatment I've never had someone be like look this could be it let me help not just let's like crack your neck see it neck like i liked that it hurt he was grabbing my muscle and moving it like it wasn't fun but i'm really glad i came like jared i'm so glad we came good and you know what i liked was we used points to come so we didn't have to pay for the flight your sister was generous we could stay at her house we didn't have to pay for a hotel. So, like, I'm to me, it was worth coming, and I love that he is going. Next time I come in two days, he's gonna have a few people that he recommends closer to Utah. And I thought, like, oh, I could just research and find someone close, but I wanted to go to him because he's the one that I found online. I wanted to go to that clinic. Yeah. And I'm glad that they're 
also going to give me references on who to go when I get home. Yeah, they were like, so nice. To me, this was worth coming out. But I need to go ice my neck. <laughs> we really worked on two tests with you, right? So mm -hmm. your first test was the upper cervical flexion test, which was your ability to chin tuck, and that was engaging mm -hmm. the muscles at the base of your skull. You were at 16 degrees or 64%, okay? Mm -hmm. At the end of the first visit, we finished at 22 degrees, which is 88%. So today we started at 19 degrees, which is 76%. So like I said, as long as we're not here, it's mm -hmm. gonna fall back. And today you're leaving at 28 degrees, which is 112%. Which it felt so good. It didn't hurt. That's why. It was so great. Um, okay, can you do 58 divided by 60 for me? Oh, I was like, no! <laughs> <laughs> so that other test that we did, in yes. and down, okay, which you the worst. the worst and a lot of pain with that one, okay, you came in at the exam, you were at 60 degrees, which is 66%, uh, 58 degrees, which was, what did you say, Kate? Uh, 58 divided by 6, Katie, sorry. 96? 96%. 96%. So you held all of that. You said that the pain was about a 3 out of 10, where uh -huh. the last time it was a lot worse. Today you're leaving, that test is at 73%. 73 degrees, I'm sorry, which is 121%, which is like bonkers how well you can move your head right now. Yeah. Um, so this is this is it, it, amazing. Yeah. Um, but more importantly though, like you can move a, a little bit better than you were on Monday, right? Yeah. Which is like three days of seeing you, you know? Um, so my recommendation would be truthfully to find one of these doctors that, that you can make it work, even if it's like once every six weeks or whatever it is, mm -hmm. um, and continue to chip away this because this is, I think this is going to be the solution to uh -huh. what you've been dealing with for so long. Yeah. So I just left and only about 20 people in the country do the treatments that um, this facility did. And I'm gonna let Jared explain. <laughs> I'll do my best, but it, so one was they had an acoustic wave therapy and that was that duck, 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 pen that they were doing all around Ellie's And they neck. did that again today, but all over my shoulders. And the other thing is you like, he was like reaching under Ellie's neck while he, she was on the table and like really digging down deep. Manipulating my muscle. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's called manual uh, adhesion therapy mm -hmm. or manual adhesion removal therapy mm -hmm. something like that and that's what only 15 to 20 people do because it's, it's a very labor intensive it takes a lot of time and uh, expensive is, yeah so um, that I think manipulated Ellie's neck a lot so then they were able to go in with the acoustic wave and kind of like break things yeah. up a little bit more I don't know if they know who I am we didn't do any type of like working together or anything this literally was a desperate mom that had migraines that's willing to go anywhere oh. <laughs> to like fix my migraines um, and I really hope it helps. Um, like I did the injections a few weeks ago and that I don't want just a band-aid to help my migraines. Like drugs can help your migraines. Um, you know, massage therapy can help them. Chiropractor. Acupuncture. Acupuncture. Like, and maybe acupuncture is a actual result. I don't know. But like, I just don't want a band-aid or mask what's going on and I know that the lidocaine injections definitely is just a mask and if that's all that I have to do that'll help like I'll do that but I just want to always be searching for something to like like fix the problem not the same and thing. all of the um afterwards like things that they were having me do with my neck my neck tests I literally passed by a hundred percent like when I came into the into the facility I could hardly move my neck it hurt my pain was a level seven six and by the time I left, four days later, my I'm over 100%. And with, with no pain. With no pain. So, does that mean like, oh my gosh, this is the hidden gem that I found? Like, I don't know. I literally am going to have to go back and just live my life and see how it, it does. But um, it obviously was working. And if I have to come back in a few months, I will absolutely do it. But this at least puts me on a track to know that there's more things out there than just like medication that can hopefully heal my neck. When I get home, I do have an x-ray 
that I need to do for my neck to see if they can see anything mm -hmm. like discs wise um, an MRI would be better but I do have an MRI or an x-ray scheduled yeah I think it'd be beneficial to have an MRI as well because the first appointment he did mention he's like I'd be willing to bet that you have a disc that's you know mm -hmm. not the way it's supposed to be yeah so I still have a few things but like this is once again yet another video yet another thing that I'm doing that's like you just no one else is going to be proactive for me. Like you gotta advocate for yourself. No one else is, and as much as I love and appreciate doctors of all kinds, unfortunately, like unfortunately, most doctors are not gonna really try and get to the root cause. Like they've all given me just medication, which is great. I appreciate it. It's helped, but like you just have to advocate for yourself more so than you ever have. I yeah. I feel like. Mm -hmm. So. Trip to New Jersey, thumbs up, thumbs down. Oh, I mean, getting this done, thumbs up. Seeing family, thumbs up. Eating out good food, <laughs> why not, thumbs up. Yeah. So, so glad we did it. Mm -hmm. I really, really hope that it just will last and it'll continue to yeah. feel really good. Absolutely. So with that, we're gonna make our way back to Utah and see our kids and get them ready for school. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.